Okay, I'm so excited for this video. I haven't done just a bins haul in such a long time and I've been going to the bins a bunch more because of my new business model, which if you've watched this video, which I'll link up on the screen, you know all about that. But each time I have a good bins haul, I just really wanna share it with y'all. And so I decided, let's just do that in this video. I'm going to pick my three best bins trips over the next couple weeks and just sit down and film a haul. And so this video is gonna be super long, uh, which hopefully y'all like. Let me know in the comments down below if you like shorter videos or longer videos, because we are going to go over three days worth of stuff. So let's dive into it. Okay, this first day was actually from a couple days ago. I need to process it, so I'm really excited to show you what I found. I found 35.1 pounds worth of clothing for $45.28. I'm really happy with that. I love when I find over 30 pounds. So let's dive into it. Oh, one more thing. If y'all are familiar with my channel, you know that I go to the bins to buy stuff for my business, but I also source for a few other things. So one is I go to Crossroads. Another is that I buy for some friends of mine. And I also like to go to like maternity and kids consignment places. And then I have a few other outlets as well. So if I say consignment, I'm not gonna go into detail about like where I'm going just cause that kind of gets boring, but just so you know. Okay, the very first piece is a pair of Madewell jeans. These have an exposed button fly. They're really cute. They are the 10 inch high rise skinny crop in 26 petite. Love, love, love these. And actually they're in excellent condition except for this stain here. And I'm pretty sure I can get that stain out. I'm actually getting pretty good at stain removal. If you want me to do a video on how I remove stains, let me know in the comments down below. Then I found these new with tag Adidas shorts. They retailed for 50 bucks. That was a great find. I don't know why no one else picked them up, but happy about it. This might've been one of my favorite finds from the day. And, oh no, 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 this one isn't it. Okay, it's later. <laughs> but this one actually is a really good find too. It is made well. Size small. I'm really tempted to keep this sweater. It's really similar to one I have that's by Frame. It's got this kind of balloon sleeve, gathered wrist, um, just a really nice kind of boxy cut, something you could wear all season long. I love the one I have by Frame, so tempted to keep that, but I probably won't. These are Levi's 721 high rise skinny jeans. These will be going to my friends for consignment. Okay. Let me know in the comments down below, do y'all pick this brand up ever? Lane Bryant. I picked up a new with tags jumpsuit by Lane Bryant like a while ago and it did well. And I decided I'm gonna pick up more substantial pieces by Lane Bryant. So this is a really pretty uh, maxi dress with this stretch jersey fabric and it's a wrap style. So I thought that was definitely a substantial piece. I love the floral print and yeah. So cute. I think I can hear Billy in the background. <laughs> if y'all can hear, let me know. Um, but Matt is taking care of her, so hopefully she's okay. Okay, next is this Zara blazer. It's like a scarf print blazer. Really pretty size, what, small? There is one flaw though. There's some kind of pilling you see along the back seam. You can probably go over it with a sweater shaver, but Probably also gonna have to disclose that in the listing, but there's definitely still a lot of wear in this blazer, so super cute. And I've been really enjoying picking up Zara. I'm curious to see how it's going to do overall. Okay, another pair of Madewell jeans, but not from the same person, because these are not 26 petite, they are size 31, but they're also the 10 inch high rise skinny. They also have an exposed button fly. And with Madewell jeans, probably the biggest thing to look for is any dimpling right here usually. And that is just from the spandex in the fabric coming over stretched out usually from like drying it too high. But those are actually in really good condition. With denim that is like 100% cotton or 99% cotton, you don't have to worry about that, which is really nice. And a lot of jean styles that are popular today are 100% cotton or 99% cotton. Okay, this is a brand I don't pick up a lot at the bins 
but it does well in my experience club monaco i've received it in liquidation before and it always sells well i haven't picked it up that much uh, pre-owned so we'll see how this does it's a size extra small and it's a really pretty sweater with this eyelet lace collar which i thought was gorgeous uh what is the content material content made up of let's see 100 merino wool it does require a little bit of sweater shaving but going into fall definitely worth picking up and 100 wool that's amazing okay this is a brand that i've heard about from resellers but i've never picked it up and never sold it so i'm excited to see how it does this is untuck it it's a menswear brand I did check comps when I was at the bins and decided to go ahead and try it out. These are just a pair of pants, blue, and they are a size 36 wide, length 34. So I'm really excited to see how these do. I've been really enjoying selling men's and part of you know doing more thrifting versus liquidation is that I can do more bins, especially at the bins because you come across all categories of all things and so you just pick up a lot of different things whereas at the thrift store i rarely go to the men's section okay this i'm probably going to keep and i talked about this in my maternity brand video which i'll link up on the screen but this is kindred braverly if you have never had kids or never breast fed before you probably are like what is this but this is a tank top and it has a thing where you can pump out of and another one for just breastfeeding and they're so helpful but they're so expensive on kindred braverly i think this is at least like 60 or 70 bucks i one of my dear friends got me uh one from my registry but i wear this and the bras all the time and so finding them at the bins is a major score this is like an extra extra large but i don't even care because i'll just wear it anyway <laughs> And actually, I kind of prefer larger sizes because, you know, it's more comfortable. This is a muslin blanket. Always picking those up for baby Billy Lou. This is a brand I really like selling, Peruvian Connection. And this is just a little short sleeve open front cardigan with a floral, like a teal and black floral print. The inside looks like, oh wow, is it reversible? No, but... It has like a different print on the inside. That's crazy. I don't know how they're able to do that. That's some attention to detail there. Peruvian Connections retails for good money and they definitely have a following uh, on the reseller marketplace. So I always really like selling them. Okay, this is a good bread and butter brand that I like to pick up certain pieces by Calvin Klein. I really like to pick up more substantial workwear pieces so especially jumpsuits i really really like picking up calvin klein jumpsuits but this one was also a good one it is this i guess midi length maybe knee length dress size eight and it's got this really nice buckle detail i got this when a new bin rolled out i just like grabbed it because i knew this is something that i wanted and not all resellers are going to want this but um yeah and it's a wrap front style really nice great work piece and i actually picked this piece up at the bins recently in a white color and now i found it in black i know because i've been stain treating it i have to do i had to do two rounds of it this is lulu's size small good well i wanted 6.99 for it but no one wanted to take it which is funny here i'll just show you real quick it's like a skater style dress and it's got a halter top and actually the back straps are lace which is a nice detail it's funny, I was overhearing some people at the bin say, well, Goodwill was charging $9.99, no one was willing to pay it there, so I don't think you're going to be able to resell it for more. And I was like, if only that logic were true. <laughs> it's definitely not. <laughs> the people who go to uh, the Goodwill thrift store and the people who shop on Poshmark and eBay aren't always the same people and, you know, different areas of the country, all kinds of things. Definitely don't ever make that assumption. Okay, this is a piece I either wanted to try to sell, even though this brand I actually have quite a hard time selling, or I might keep it, but it's Columbia. I mean, Columbia is based here, and so there's a ton of it at the bins, and I just have a hard time finding pieces that will actually sell. A lot of the pieces that I've picked up are still sitting. This is a cool dress, though. It's a long sleeve dress, 
and then it's got a pocket here a zipper pocket which i like because if i'm going to go to the bins i like having pockets and sometimes i just want to throw on like just a dress and go but now i'm kind of thinking like maybe i don't want to i don't know <laughs> i'll probably try selling it this is for consignment it is an adidas dress i don't know maybe i'll try to sell it floral adidas dress with that big adidas logo on the front a pair of jack rogers booties that braiding detail zipper on the inside it does have some wear oh this is kind of worse than i thought these are some pretty bad scratches let's see if i can show you see that so I'll just go ahead and list them and disclose it and probably list them for less like than I would have otherwise. So I seven and a half because they still definitely, I don't know, they're really nice otherwise, though, but there's a little watermark here and then there's two scratches on this left toe. So we'll see. All right, next. Oh, I found two pairs of BDG jeans. These are Urban Outfitters and certain styles can do well. This is a size 27 slim straight and they have some distressing uh, if i don't sell them i'll probably do consignment with these but i think i will sell them and then i thought these were really cute they are bdg flare size 28 and they are you know a non-stretch denim they're probably 99 or 100 percent cotton and they're flare and they have this really big slit on the side which i thought was really cool man maybe i'll try these on because i actually need jeans <laughs> maybe i'll try those on i've never owned a pair of bdg jeans this is gymshark and i've been talking a lot on instagram recently about brands that are really strict with their stock photo usage so you just don't want to use their stock photos and gymshark is definitely one of them and so um, we'll just have to not use stock photo for these but this is a pair of camo leggings I'm sure it doesn't sell as well as it used to, but I still pick it up, especially when it's in excellent condition and at the bins. Another thing that I, or, or usually it is, I think it's usually right here, but it might be missing. But if you're ever looking for the size on a pair of Gymshark leggings, look on the inside and the ankle. I got this book for Billy and I like it because it's got Spanish and English kind of within it. Mama grabbed my hand and since I have a lot of relatives who live in Spain now, I'm gonna try to learn Spanish and also see if Billy can learn some Spanish. Got an Ikea bag and then I found two free people pieces. First is a We the Free. It's really kind of this open knit. Here's the We the Free, which is free people. Tag, size medium, open knit crop top. It's like very wide why that is just like wow that's like taking a whole screen <laughs> that's so hot and then the other one's really cute i think yeah it's definitely intentionally tie-dye this is not a diy tie-dye job even though at the bends you definitely come across a bunch of diy tie-dye jobs this is we the free size large and this is a striped tie-dye sweater which is good for fall Okay, next we've got another consignment piece. This is Adidas and it's a little squirt. Cute. Another consignment piece. This is Levi's 511 Slim flat pants. Here is a Zara little sweater, which I thought was really cute. I love this color. Zara size small, just a ribbed short sleeve crop sweater. That was really cute and classic. I found this Under Armour set, so I might sell it as a set or I might consign it. Um, it is a size large and you got the top here and then the sweatpants here. Um, I really don't know what it is, <laughs> like if it's supposed to be an underlayer or what, but I'll have to Google it and find out. That's the cool thing about doing consignment is like, okay, if I don't want it, I can figure out a place to take it. Here is, I was kind of on the fence about picking this up or not, and maybe I will regret it and not pick up stuff like this in the future, but this is Lulu's. I like picking up Lulu's, but typically I like picking up kind of more substantial pieces than this. 
It's just a little plain black dress, but it's got a hood on it. It's a very casual. I don't think I'll get more than like 20 bucks max, probably more like 15 bucks for that piece, which is not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for a average sales price of $35, so that's definitely off the mark. Um, this is Nike shorts. I'm gonna consign those. Okay, this is Urban Outfitters. I think I might consign this or I might sell it. It's kind of cool. It's this yellow t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. Like, Crossroads would definitely take this. I'm barely certain. And it's got this ribbed accent along the sleeves. Definitely very, very 90s. This I also could consign or sell. I have to decide. It's a pleated top. A lot of times I just don't have enough inventory to list, and so I'll just go ahead and sell it myself. Uh, this is a really cute pleated kind of halter tank in this shimmery fabric. This is a Maeve top. I think I picked this up to consign, but I think it's really cute. I might keep it. Uh, it's a peasant style blouse with that ruffle detail along the neckline and then a metallic thread stripe. Cute cotton top. This is Pack Sun. Crossroads loves Pack Sun. These are some corduroy pants. I might sell them though. I need to check comps. I will consign these Levi's 414 Classic Straight in a size 20 W in excellent condition, I believe. Okay, I picked this up. I've been picking up Madewell t-shirts. I think I'm gonna see if Crossroads wants them. This is actually new with tags. It is plus size, it's 1X. Where's the tag? It's like a Nordstrom tag. Oh, here it is. They were selling it for $19.97. So I'll see if Crossroads wants it. If they don't want it, I probably will stop hanging up Madewell t-shirts. But another way you can sell Madewell t-shirts is in lots. And so that's an option too. I don't come across 1X very often. This is a Nike shirt that I am consigning. Okay, I was on the fence on whether or not to pick this up, but I, again, want to experiment more with this brand. This is Lane Bryant as well, and it's a puffer coat. And so, of course, going into fall winter, I wanted to pick up, not going in, I guess by the time this video comes out, we are in the thick of fall. It's like early October now. I wanted to pick this up, size 18, 20. I need more plus size in my closet. And I'm just curious to see how Lane Bryant does. Okay, sorry the lighting in here is so bad. This is maybe my favorite piece from the day it is a new tag Nottam sweater. This is a gorgeous sweater. It retailed for $215 and it is in brand new pristine condition. They kind of specialize in cashmere, like affordable cat. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a stain. It's just a thread. They uh, specialize in affordable cashmere pieces. Okay, the sun is setting, but we've got a last few pieces. This is. Free people, intimately free. If you are new to reselling, there are a bunch of different free people, like sub brands. This is a ribbed swing tank with a turtleneck neckline, cute. This is Lucky Brand. I will be giving to my friends or selling it to them, I should say. And then this is a new Tags Anthropology tank top. It retailed for 80 bucks. I was just super happy with the new tag items I got this day. And it's really cute. It's got this kind of frayed detail, square neckline, and it's Maeve by Anthropology. I got a couple more things for me. This is a like scrapbook, but it's got these pressed on flowers and stuff, which I thought was really pretty. Might do something with, you know, Billy Lou that together and then I don't think this has been opened this is a kiwi co crate and I don't want to show the address for the person who's going to but if y'all haven't heard of these I mean it's gonna be a while before Billy can do this but it's really cool they they give you all the pieces to create this and then you can put it together this one makes a record racer oh like I don't even know <laughs> but it's like an engineering type of activity it gives you all these pieces and then you get to put it together so i thought that was really cool and these i don't think are cheap so i'm excited yeah it's for ages nine plus so it's gonna be a while it's gonna be nine years before we can do that so if you hear my puppy dog in the background but all right that was it for this day 
Found some really good pieces. Can't wait to show you day two. I've been trying to shoot this haul all day. <laughs> this is from yesterday and I haven't had the chance to. So now it is 10 p.m. I put the baby to bed and let's go through this haul. I'm so tired, but I have to show you what I found before I take it to the office tomorrow. Okay, so I think this was the biggest trip I've ever made. And I will warn you now, a lot of it is because of jeans. I picked up a good amount of jeans for my friend's business. So if I sound like a broken record this haul, that is why. But this, I think, is the biggest one I've ever done. I spent 53 bucks and 15 cents. I got, what, 41.2 pounds. So this was a really good day. Um, I spent, I think, like two and a half hours and got more than 40 pounds, so that's great. So, without further ado, let's dive into this haul. Okay, oh, this is, and actually this was, I was really organized this haul too because I folded everything, my cart was really organized, and so it was a good time. I love when that I can make that happen. This is All Saints. It's, and this is that All Saints logo. It's just a ribbed knit t-shirt, men's size, large. I believe it's men's anyway. So I am gonna sell that. I'm thinking at least maybe 30 for that. So hopefully we'll see. This is a Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand. I'm finding that Aritzia doesn't sell for a ton. Well, actually some, oh, oh my goodness. I just saw, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> So not a great way to start the haul. Um, all right, so this is gonna be a loss, but what I was saying was Aritzia, pieces like that don't sell for a ton of money, but they do sell really consistently. Like There's definitely a demand for Aritzia brands um, on the resale marketplace, and so I like picking it up because I feel like it, I can rely on it to sell. Okay, I'm gonna check pockets while we're going. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pair of American Eagle jeans that I am giving to my friends. Oh, this is an Adidas like golf polo. I'm going to consign that. A pair of Athleta leggings. They're Capri leggings, which won't sell for as much as the full length ones. But don't want to pick them up. This is one of my favorite bread and butter brands to sell right now. It is. Dun, 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 dun. I can't find it. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, I can't find the inner tag. So maybe it's taken off, but here is Prana. Yes, Prana. And does it have still the materials tag? Yeah, the materials tag is still here. So I don't know. They must have removed. Oh, no. Prana. Size small. It's a dress, like a cotton sundress with this interesting low crossback. Pretty green color. Selling that one. Oh yeah, Frank and Eileen. I like finding this brand. This, I've never found a shirt like this from them. This is just like a like a cotton knit button down. Typically, you know, what you'll find is they're more breathable woven cotton button downs. I guess this is just a polo. It's not a button down. Stripe, blue and white stripe, size small. So we'll see how that does. I actually also found a sleeveless button down by Frank and Eileen recently at the bins. So I, I think I found Frank and Eileen back to back trips. And yeah, it sells pretty well. Wilfred Free is another Aritzia brand. And this is just a little kind of loungewear romper. Kind of tempted to keep this, but I gotta give, I gotta get stuff to sell. Can't keep everything. <laughs> I found a couple of onesies for Billy Lou. This one has little puppy dogs on it. This one, it looks like it has little, um, like, snap peas. <laughs> but she's just growing so fast, it's insane. She's gonna be three months next week. And so she's already fitting into like three to six or six month onesies. So I gotta like get rid of all her zero to three onesies because she's just too big for them. This was a really good find. I love this brand. And if you don't know about it, now you do. Amour Vert. They make silk pieces. They make really soft jersey pieces. This is a maxi stripe turtleneck dress sleeveless and in my experience it sells really fast so I'm super excited about that 
This is also a really good find early on. Spanx leggings. This is an older style, but I actually used to own this style of leggings and then I sold my own pair and it sold really fast. So this is actually in better condition than mine were in. So I was excited to find those. This is a consignment piece, pair of Nike leggings. These are actually in excellent condition. So I was really happy to find these. Mm, another one, Nike shirt. Oh, okay. Mm, I'm not gonna be surprised if Tomas texts me and is like, hey, this had a massive flaw <laughs> that I missed. Cause someone clearly like, threw this back but I couldn't find what was wrong with it, so I picked it up. And I, you know, sometimes people just don't want to sell certain things. This is a new with tags. Show me your mumu. The new with tags always comes with like this ring. Extra large white gown. So like a wedding dress, essentially. Um, okay, I see a tiny stain here. It's like a makeup stain. I won't even stain treat that, I'll just, disclose it but otherwise like I didn't even see anything so I'm very very happy with that find this I am going to take to crossroads I think it is urban outfitters and it is this cropped sweater I could sell it this I'm either going to take to crossroads or sell but I actually need to wash it first it's made well size extra small it's just a striped t-shirt dress but as you can see it has this like white mark there I'm pretty sure I was like I was just kind of like scratch at it with my finger and if it starts to come off then I'm like okay this will come out I'm pretty sure this will come out so we'll see let me put it in a wash pile okay another consignment 7-eleven skinny ankle jeans I'm giving that to my friends actually I think this is gonna be a big pile another one American Eagle uh, two more, one American Eagle, one Levi's. And this is kind of cool. This is Nike. I'm signing this. It's kind of got like a, almost like a wood type print. And it is this long hooded dress, I guess, by Nike. Okay, this I think I am going to take to Crossroads. It is made well. It's an older style, but I think they'll still take it. It's a sweater. Got this kind of little bit of a detail on a little bit of a flared sleeve. Oh yeah, I was happy to find this. I wonder if it has flaws that I didn't find because I did look it over. Icebreaker, such a great brand to find. I think it's pretty popular here. It's an outdoorsy brand. It's kind of similar to Smart Wool. It's 100% wool base layers for hiking and so forth, which I am so not that person. So it took me some, I had to learn about it when I got here. Yeah, this is just a 100% merino wool base layer, size small women's. Good find. Oh yeah, okay, can y'all tell me in the comments down below. Okay, um, Duluth Trading Company. Have you picked it up before? Uh, is it worth picking up? I think I heard about it. I was listening to some other reseller and they were talking about it. And so when I came across these, I've come across it, you know, quite a few times before I think so I came across this pair of leggings by Duluth Train Company just quickly checked comps and I was like oh maybe this will be worth something <laughs> so I decided let's just experiment and pick it up and see what happens but let me know in the comments down below is it a good brand to pick up uh, again outdoorsy wear brands are still somewhat foreign to me so there are some that I have experience with like Icebreaker um, but Sometimes if it's just not within your realm of reality, like if it's not something you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, you're just like, does this have value? I have no idea. <laughs> so for those of y'all who don't know what I'm talking about, the loot trading, maybe go check out comps. This is a pair of, I guess, leggings or straight leg pants, stretch pants. It's got a cargo pocket on the side. So yeah, we're gonna see how these do. Okay, and that is one bag down. My mom gave me these bags. She just moved to Portland and I think she bought a bunch of these bags for her move. Oh. Okay, here is another Aritzia Wilfred 
size large. This is a basic top. It's got this kind of half button down and then it's got, it's got a little bit of padding actually. Uh, and this puff sleeve. It's cute. It'd be a really cute everyday piece. More denim. This is Pilcro. Giving that to my friends, I think. Lots of denim, y'all. American Eagle shorts, actually. Okay, I got some books. Those are the two things I get at the bins um, for Billy Lou is onesies, like footsies onesies, and um, books. And so, so I just, we just read a lot of books and you know, she doesn't, she doesn't get bored of the books we read, but I get bored. <laughs> so I'm constantly looking for books I wanna read. Here's one, I, I'd Know You Anywhere, My Love. Cute. Tomorrow I'll Be Kind. That, that was kind of a cute one, I was going through it. Gosh, $17.99. I got it for probably a dollar. This is probably two, this is probably should have to be when she is older, but I thought it was cool. Questions and Answers About Dinosaurs, $14.99. Look how much money I'm saving. This author, Eric Carle, the best. The Mixed Up Chameleon, I grew up reading his books. Edie is ever so helpful. Cute. Y'all who don't, don't have kids are like, what? I do not care about this. <laughs> what are you doing, Maisie? This is really cute. Ooh. So, I've actually been really enjoying books that incorporate Spanish or also have like the Spanish in there. I, I don't know, it helps me kind of work on my pronunciation because it could use some work. <laughs> but there's this one book especially that I'm really obsessed with that just kind of intertwines Spanish words and English words. It's really cool. Okay, American Eagle shorts. This is a Nike golf skirt. I like picking up Nike golf things. I like picking things up for myself. I actually probably have this. I haven't gone golfing in hell in who knows how long, but um, Nike Golf, if, if I don't sell it, I will give it to my friends. Okay, so this is Prana, another Prana piece. This is just a little skirt. Gosh, I feel like I'm gonna need to stay and treat this. A few little specks on the back. Yeah, it was like Goodwill for $12.99. Yikes, no one wanted that for $12.99. Another American Eagle, this is a good one. Jeans, I should check the pockets on all these. Okay, I see another American Eagle, a pair of green ones. Oh, this I think I'm gonna take to the kids clothing slash maternity consignment. I'm pretty sure this is an expensive brand, Janie and Jack. And this is a little cute dress. It's got little buttons on the shoulders and then it's a button back. I have a huge bag or several bags to take to them. Okay, I found a couple of Patagonia pieces. They're old Patagonia, but I still wanted to pick them up and try it out selling them. This is a women's large quarter zip. It's black and it says Patagonia there. Yeah, definitely like a vintage Patagonia piece. And then the other one is also, there it's buried, I'll get to it. This, I, you know, this I picked up to take to Crossroads, but I kind of want to check comps because these are really cute and I can see them going for more. These are Pack Sun, and I think brown pants are really in right now. Um, these are cargo pants, really cute. And yeah, they're size large. Maybe I'll just go ahead and sell them and just see how they do. This is another American Eagle, a pair of black jeans. This is, I think this is Driftwood. I kinda wanna check comps on this. See, I, I don't think I've ever sold this brand Driftwood. Maybe I did, maybe I received it in liquidation one time. These are like, feel brand new. These are cut from the cloth corduroys, Diana, navy blue. Oh, okay, so I was kind of on the fence about picking this up, but I checked comps on it and decided, okay, let's go ahead, especially since this new tag. It's not a brand that retails for much, and it's a junior's. This is my Michelle, size nine. In fact, I've probably received this in liquidation. It's new tag, and it is this gown. And I thought, since my average sales percent I'm going for is 35, I think this 
very much could sell for 35 bucks at least so yeah i decided to go ahead and pick it up i found this athleta swimsuit size extra large it's in excellent condition so i was excited to find that i really like selling athleta a nike tank top levi's 501 shorts Another pair of Levi's. These are classic mid rise skinny. I'm giving those to my friends. Okay, next, I think we have a few pieces left. Another Prana. This is a coat. I think it's older style just because of these buttons. I could be wrong, but these are kind of oversized buttons. But it's in excellent condition, and so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I'm still definitely learning when it comes to brands like Prana and Athleta what doesn't sell. So just going to learn by trial and error. This is Nike, a pair of crop leggings. I, I don't sell stuff like that Nike and Under Armour and Adidas, like kind of lightweight things. Um, but I have friends who do, so I sell those things to them. This is Urban Renewal, which is Urban Outfitters. And so I decided I was going to go ahead and try to take this really cute uh, smocked crop top to Crossroads, I think. I just don't think it would sell for very much uh, on Poshmark or whatever, but I think it would do well at Crossroads. And if not, the things that I take to Crossroads, I don't sell, I just list. This is the other Patagonia piece I found. It is 100% wool, women's large, and I think it's in excellent condition. Just this kind of half button up base layer in red. This is Torrid. And Torrid and Lane Bryant are also brands that I'm kind of learning by trial and error, error what doesn't sell. These are a pair of black leggings. They're brands that I used to like never pick up. But now that I am shopping at the bins, um, I come across them quite a bit and some can definitely sell in the $25 to $40 range that I'm looking for. So I'm um, just slowly figuring out what those pieces are and what they aren't. So this was a really exciting find. Good American jeans, size 18, in excellent condition. Very excited to find those. And they were in an older bin, just like kind of tucked away in the back. I think I'm gonna take this to Crossroads. It's Urban Outfitters. It is a sparkly cropped sweater. Goodwill wanted $4.99 for it. And then lastly, I got a pair of Fry sandals. And they, the uppers are in like excellent, like new condition. And then the bottoms have some wear. But Fry outer soles or outsoles um, always have some wear. Like even when you buy them, they have some. Uh, but these, yeah, they have some wear, but not actually too bad. So I was excited to find those as well. Okay, so that was my haul from the day two. I've got two more days before publishing this video, so we'll see which one I choose to share with you next. But I am off to bed, so uh, thanks so much for joining me with this haul. I'm so excited to get this stuff listed. And yeah, all right, see you in the next one. I got this mug at the bins a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Fire hot, flaming hot Cheetos mug. All right, y'all, we are on a roll. I outdid myself. <laughs> I got, again, the most I've ever gotten at the bins. 43.9 pounds. I have $1.29 per pound, coming to a grand total of $56.63. So, yay! I, I mean, to be honest, Quality over quantity. This one is quantity over quality. <laughs> no, I think there's some good pieces in here. There was one rotation that was especially great. And I will talk about that when I get there. All right, so let's begin. BDG Urban Outfitters Mom Jeans. I like selling these, but I think I'm gonna take these ones to Crossroads and see if they take them. If they don't, then I'll sell them myself. I really have a ton of stuff to take to Crossroads. I just haven't 
found the time to do it. Oh man, I'm surprised I got this. Well, you know what? It's 100% Supima cotton made in Peru. L.L. Bean t-shirt, won't probably go for very much, but it's nice, very nice. Um, I'll sell that. This is also going to Crossroads. I, okay, so I have a ton of stuff to take to Crossroads and I just haven't had the time because I can't take Billy because I'll be lugging a ton of stuff and a baby, and it's too hard. So I've gotta find a time where Mad's mom comes in town today. So I think she'll be able to watch her while I go to Crossroads. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that video. I think I'm gonna shoot kind of a haul and then share with you all what they took. But yeah, I'm taking this. This is a flannel dress. It's an old Madewell tag. This is 1937 on the tag. Then you know it's an old one. But in my experience, they take older Madewell, but we'll see if that's still true. You know, just as the resale game is always changing, so is what they're taking at consignment stores. This is just a muslin blanket for me. And Billy, a couple of books. I didn't even look through these, but this is cute. Martha Moth makes socks, cute. And then The Grumpy Morning. This is a, probably a good one to like read in the morning, so I'm excited about that. Okay, these are cute. They are Zara, newer, the tag I like to get. And just a pair of plaid pants, perfect for the season. I love fall so much. The trees, the leaves on the trees are just now changing. So pretty, it's gonna be really, really pretty in about a week and I wanna go to a pumpkin patch. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this to Crossroads too. It is PacSun, another brand I like to take to Crossroads and it is a button front mini denim skirt. Goodwill one, $7.99 for it. Okay, this I'm also taking to Crossroads. <laughs> it's like a Crossroads haul. But this is, I picked up just on style. It's vintage and it's this velvet, you know, square neck crop top with these little butterflies on it. It's definitely vintage. So we'll see if they take it. If not, maybe I need to start a Depop account. <laughs> Let me know. Do y'all sell on Depop? Have you had success with it? Do you like selling on Depop? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. Um, because it's something I'm interested in doing in the future, maybe. Okay, this is a pair of Nike leggings. Going to my friends who like to sell Nike. Another pair of Nike shorts. These are cute. That purple ombre. Cute. Uh, we got just a ton of Nike. Nike shorts. Nike shorts. Under Armour leggings, also going to them, I think. Although I have been checking comps on some of these things and I did actually end up keeping like this Under Armour base layer um, set that I found. I think it might have been in the first haul. Maybe if it was, I'm keeping that and we're selling it. So I'm gonna see how it does. And these are actually excellent condition. They're men's Under Armour leggings. I can't find a tag though, so. Hmm. These are also going to my friends. American Eagle shorts, another pair. These are cute corduroy American Eagle shorts. They're like pleated corduroy with a rolled hem. Very cute. Okay, I got this to take to Crossroads. Did I get anything for myself to sell? <laughs> yes, I did. But this is cute. This is a Vans floral hat. Should I check comps on this? Maybe. Maybe I shall. I thought it was cute. Okay. Moving on. I got this for myself. I got, I think one of the reasons it was heavy is because I got quite a few coats, which is good because I want to be selling coats right now. And with coats, I am less brand specific. Like I'll pick up coats in certain brands that I wouldn't pick up anything else within that brand. This being one of them, it's a really nice coat. Tahari, T Tahari. And this is like an open front draped, uh, like waterfall drape kind of front. And then it's got the waist tie. I always check to make sure it has the waist tie. Let me check the pockets. Am I gonna have my lucky day? No. But yeah, I've learned through liquidation that things like this will sell for good money. Coats specifically. Coats and formal wear. Um, just have a really 
high ASP and it's not as brand specific as other categories. So yeah, I picked up quite a few coats. I'll show you one being Tari. These are Under Armour shorts, Levi jeans also for my friends. I'm really trying to pick up as much as I can for them so that when they come I can give them like hundreds of items. Nike polo, Nike leggings. These are cute. These are Nike leggings, but they've got this. How do y'all hear Billy? That's taking care of her. Got this rib material. It's kind of like the aloe material. Uh, both on the back there and uh, the jogger style on the angle. Those are cute. Okay, I've sold this dress before. So when I saw it, I was like, or at least this fabric. I think it was this exact dress though. It's Lulu's. It's a size large. And it is a button front maxi dress. Very cute. Not quite the right season, but spring break will be here before we know it. Okay. So I found quite a bit of like older Lululemon, which I've decided I'm just going to start selling. I think, you know, older Lululemon will still sell quickly. Might not sell for that much, but still does well. Uh, okay. So this is a pair of leggings. These are cropped, I guess. Maybe ankle length, uh, size six. And if you're brand new to selling Lululemon, you're gonna wanna look for the size dot. Typically it'll be, you know, in the back pocket here. It might, if it's not there, then it's gonna be, you know, in this little front pocket. Um, and same with bras, and I actually found a bra, a Lululemon bra. This is covered in deodorant, which is fine because it'll wash right out. Oh, whoops, I have it inside out. Uh, I think Lululemon bras sell pretty quickly, in my experience. But, ta-da, probably the same person. There's a little size dot, usually in the little left padding pocket. Here is a pair of Piranha jeans. Green, these are in excellent condition. They look like brand new. People buying Piranha and never wearing it. People like me who think They'll be like that hiking person one day. <laughs> okay, I was on the fence on whether or not to pick this up, but I think I might take it to Crossroads. It's ALC, it is like the oldest ALC tag, but this is a really good bola brand if you're not aware of it already. I'm sure many of, most of you are. But um, it even says 2010 on there. It is a really old tag. This is though a lamb leather mini skirt. So I was on the pins on whether or not to pick it up because it's old and also because one of these seams is coming undone. Where? Okay, yeah, here. So I think I might take it to Crossroads. And also Goodwill, of course. Oh yeah, I guess they've got it through the seam. They wanted $7.99 for it. No one wanted it, which is interesting. Um, this is a really exciting find because I don't think I've ever sold this brand. Um, but I talk about it and it's Ibex. It is similar to, you know, Smart Wool or uh, Icebreaker. This piece is cool. It is like a bodysuit. So I was really excited to find this. I need to check comps on it because it's an exciting piece to find. Oh, it's, is it for bicycling? Because it's got this padding inside. Interesting. This is kind of the Ibex logo. Did Ibex go out of business or did they get acquired? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments down below because I heard they went out of business. Here's another pair of Prana pants. These are brown. Goodwill wanted $12.99. Yeah, right. These are a pair, you know, I was on the fence about picking these up because they're Banana Republic outlet, but they're brand new with tag. So I decided what the heck, and they're plus size. And you know, they are cute. They are red trouser. So, decided to pick that up. And this needs to be sweater shaved, but it is a fairly recent J. Crew piece. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's actually really nice. So I'm kind of tempted to keep it for myself actually. Uh, Cause it's a really thick knit. 
kind of that grandpa style cardigan. It's got pockets and it is from, I think 2019. Let's check together. No, oh, no, it's from 2021. So, hmm, shall I keep it? Okay. Money. <laughs> a quarter, I found money. Oh my God. I thought this was a condom wrapper. No, it's a um, candy wrapper. Okay. I thought it was, well first I thought it was money. It was my lucky day. And then I got worried. This, um, I, mm, now I'm seeing it stand out. It's definitely not gonna come out. I mean, I could try. Maybe it's just that candy. No, it's red. Um, this has quite a few stains on it, which is why someone had thrown it back. But, you know, me being the stain champion I am now, I was like, I can get these out. Quite a few stains. But this one is one I don't think it's gonna come out. So I might just mark it as a loss. And, and also, these, they're, they're Bonobos pants. They're not gonna go for that much. Probably like 20 to 30 bucks. So, I got a quarterback on this investment. But I might not. I might mark it as a loss otherwise. Um, so this is a brand that I learned about through Liquidation. Good man. It's easy to, um, it's not Goodfellow, which is Target, but good man brand. It's actually fairly expensive. So this is a polo, that brand. We'll see how it does. I'm very curious. Okay, I was on the fence on whether to pick these up and I found them at a time when I really wasn't finding much. This trip, I the first hour, I was like, dang, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find 25 pounds. And so I was like, okay, well, I need to get something. I need to get stuff. So I decided to pick these up, but in retrospect, I probably could have left them behind. Cause I don't really like selling blank NYC jeans. I like selling blank NYC jackets, faux leather jackets, real leather jackets, of course. Their suede jackets do really well. And even jean jackets. Yeah, their jeans don't sell that well. They could sit and sit and sit, so. Um, but I decided to go ahead and pick these up, I guess, just so I could have something to sell. But they're in good condition, at least not to stain treat them or anything. Okay, on to the next bin. Okay, I got this for me, I think. Do I look like a real Portlander now? <laughs> it is a Columbia Sun hat. One size. And it's in like new condition. This was a, with a bunch of really good outdoor gear. This was in like one of the best bins I went through. This was also in that bin. It's a really nice hat. Looks brand new. Pendleton, really, really good find. 100% wool. So I found a Pendleton beanie the other week and when I was checking comps, I was of course looking at Pendleton hats and realized those hats can do really well, so. Okay, this is another coat I picked up by Guess. I obviously wouldn't pick up virtually anything by Guess, but I uh, decided to pick up this coat. It's something that I would have like received in liquidation and typically sells fairly well. However, I just realized looking at this bin that it's missing one of the buttons. I really need to be better at looking that over. I thought I did. So, that's unfortunate, but we'll still list it and just disclose that flaw. Okay. This is a Nike hoodie. It's got this cool contrasting fabric. Okay, so in that outdoors kind of bin that I went through, Found three Patagonia pieces. First is this quarter or half zip black. In excellent condition. I don't know if you can even read the Patagonia logo though, but where is it? But it is Patagonia. And found another one, same deal, but in this blue print. And then, oh, this actually has a stain. I'm seeing if I'm gonna try to get that out, wash it. This is a windbreaker Patagonia. So, 
I'm really happy about that. The stain, and I'll show you. Oh, right here. It's actually a little bit of missing thread there too. So that's a flaw I can't fix and we'll just have to disclose, but I can wash, like just put some stain uh, treatment there and wash it and it should come out. Going to. Okay, this I was really excited about. Um, if you ever find this, you can actually send this to the Rail Rail if you find it. It's Stella McCartney Kids. So I'd recommend picking it up. But it also has good resale value, I believe. Really pretty, but I'm just kind of tempted to keep it either for my niece or for my daughter. It's eight years, so my niece is actually about to turn eight. So maybe I'll give this to her. It seems big for her, but it's really pretty. Uh, okay, so I told you that I found a bunch of older Lululemon. This is a pair of Lululemon leggings. Um, they have a little bit of wear kind of at the crotch. We can go over it with a sweater shaper, but we'll see how well that does. But where is the Lululemon symbol? There it is. If you can discern gray on gray. We've got a Under Armour t-shirt. A Lululemon tank. This is a tank that has like this kind of cut out on the back. And there is the Lou. This, the pull tag is obviously removed, is gonna be, I don't think it will have this size anywhere on it. So what we do in these cases is just measure it and then approximate the size and just, we say uh, size is based off of measurements, see below. It's approximated off of measurements, see below. So, um, this, someone had thrown back. Maybe I'll figure out why <laughs> later on. I couldn't figure out why. Um, but it is Anthropology 11's is. So it's an older Anthropology piece. Maybe they check comps on it, because I didn't. If I was gonna pick up any older Anthropology piece, it'd be coats. It's one thing that can still sell well, depending on the style. I thought this was a gorgeous coat, size 12, and obviously I am still trying to, it's got all the buttons, pick up coats, so I was really happy with that find. Okay, this is, I don't pick up North Face very often, but these seemed really cool, so I was like, I want to pick these up. Uh, they're just biker shorts that say the North Face on the side, and when I checked later, they're from season S22, so I think they're from 2022, so they're really new. So I think I'm just gonna sell them and see how they do. I need, I could have checked comps, but I did not. Uh, this is from my friends. It is a Nike golf polo. Um, this, I need to stain treat. I'm gonna see if Matt wants these actually, because they're really nice. They're golf pants, Nike golf pants, and they're white, which means they do have a few stains on them. Like, but they're minor, just dirt marks, let me see there. And Goodwill wanted $24.99 for them, so that's insane. But they're actually in excellent condition. I feel like they haven't been worn. They've just kind of been gotten stains probably at Goodwill. So I'll wash those. If he doesn't want them, we will sell them. This is an interesting Lululemon piece. It's this sweatshirt. It's got this ribbon. Hi, that's how you know it's an older piece. Also, you know it's an older piece, and we can uh, kind of clean this up a little bit, maybe. But this is, there's no Lululemon symbol. It's just got this Lululemon, spells out Lululemon, but there's a bunch of lint in it. Let's see if you can see that now. So it's really soft though. It's actually in pretty good condition, considering the age. Um, just a little bit of sweater shaving. Okay, this is a brand. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me, I got two pieces. Let me pull both of them out. I got two pieces by this brand. One's new at Tag. This one. Woolrich. I've, I've sold like one Woolrich piece, I think. But it was like a really expensive piece. And um, sold for a lot of money. Let me make sure that's true real quick. Yeah. So it was this coat that I got in liquidation. And it retailed for $895. I'm still really kind of trying to figure out what is what is the deal with Woolrich? It can be really, really expensive. And then the vintage stuff can do really well. 
I don't know about this kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments down below. This is just a Warwich new with tag. Cute button down. And then this isn't new with tag, but it has the little barbell on it. Is it barbell? Um, and so it's, I think it is new, just not, doesn't have the tag attached. And this is a red jacket. Both men's, I think they're both size large. So, and that is in like new condition. So, I'm kind of trying to check comps, but I couldn't really find good comps data. So, I'm just gonna list it and see what happens. All right, next is a pair of cut from the cloth. This is, I think, a newer label, so I was excited to find these. They're in excellent condition. A pair of jeans, tin petite. It's a good bread and butter brand. Another older Lululemon. This is one of their tanks with a built-in bra. Cool. Okay, I was on the fence on whether to pick these up or not, but I kind of want to do it just as an experiment. And, you know, we're short on inventory these days, so why not experiment with it? These are Lululemon. They're just, you know, they're really old yoga pants. And they're actually in excellent condition, except for, you know, some pilling along that metal seam, my crotch. Size six. I wonder if all of this was from the same person. Just someone was like, I'm tired of this old Lulu and stuff. Just got rid of all of it. Same with this, same thing. A pair of leggings. And I'm sure, oh, these are size eight. So I'm sure it's still some from the same person. And then another Lululemon. This is a tank with like this knotted front and the Lululemon symbol. Oh yeah, it's like a black, black on black. A lot of Lululemon to bend, you just kind of have to feel it. And when you feel Lululemon, you know, you know what it is. And then especially if you see, it just like it looks like a pull tag has been removed. Oh, okay, and then this was in that outdoorsy bin. This is my, I think my first time selling this brand. I talked about it in a bread and butter video before. Cool, K-U-H-L, 14 long pants women's so i'm excited to see how these do let's see did we get lucky not today no takeout for dinner today <laughs> this was also in that outdoors event i think it was the same person and this is my second time selling this brand the first time i sold it it did really well i'm not going to try to pronounce it well maybe i will gun gudrun shoden i don't know how to pronounce the sj show is it like sh I don't know. But if y'all know, let me know. Oh man, this has a logo on it. Okay, I'm not gonna give it to my friends then. I thought it was just a good old Nike golf shirt, but it has, of course, Hoffman Construction Company. <laughs> so, I'll give that back to Goodwill. And then this is an Under Armour shirt. This is Athleta. I thought it was really nice. It's an athletic shirt. Really soft fabric, and then it's got this ribbing detail along the neckline and the bottom here. Um, did I check? It's from 2019, summer 2019, so it's a fairly recent piece too, which I'm happy about. And then, Adriana Goldschmidt men's pants. I was happy to find these. I like selling Adriana Goldschmidt for men's, as well as women's newer stuff this i got for billy lou <laughs> i don't really need it because my friend actually got me one that's really nice but this one has the attached mittens and shoes little booties so and it's size three to six months so maybe we're gonna have to take a trip to go ski i don't know and then finally the last piece is just a little free people dress uh, size small, just a swing dress, floral, cute enough. All right, well, that is the video. <laughs> was it long enough? Um, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was from all of the hauls. Uh, gosh, I, I honestly couldn't pick one. Mm, I can't even remember. From this haul, that Patagonia bin was 
just made and made my trip so and i really am excited about the ibex piece because i've never sold that brand before so yeah let me know and i mean this hat it's like perfect condition stuff at the bins um never fails to disappoint so anyways let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was if you like this type of video give it a big old thumbs up let me know i can do more of these they're really fun for me because i get to sit down and go through and talk about what i found which is Every reseller loves to do that because, you know, you get home and you're so excited. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're putting out new videos every Monday. So, all right. Um, that's it for the video. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.